good morning everybody sorry for the delay technical reason yeah. i am anand jyoti and uh, can you all hear me please can you all hear me yes sir we can hear you sir, yes, sir. thank you so much i am anand jyoti and uh, i'm from chennai i'm practicing musculoskeletal physiotherapy for last 22 years and uh, the introduction which i gave it is i need to update that i would like to update myself the uh, first contact practice i think uh, it's coming up in india and uh, we have a good afternoon everybody i'm uh, middle of the practice uh, so it's a uh, it's a very highly privileged to be in this conference the kl university I thank uh, Santosh Medgar and all the organizing committee for inviting me to share my thoughts about first contact practice. Being a physiotherapist uh, in India, the in developing nation, not only in uh, in uh, India, it's an overall in a developing nation. The physiotherapy is slowly developing. In terms of education, in terms of uh, like uh, hiring uh, the knowledge into a bachelor degree, postgraduate degree, and PhD now. Various university offering the the best of the course in the country. The ground reality is the first contact practice in country like your. Uh, USA, Australia, Canada, and most developed countries, the physiotherapy practice into the first contact practice. But in India, the scenario is like a, we are like a paramedical or we are in the tertiary care practice, which comes to a referral. My experience in this uh, area, about 22 years, where I served almost 30 universities. For the postgraduate programs, and I am practicing uh, this for almost 22 years. Where I crossed almost two lakhs patients, where the patient is referred from on personal background based on the results, not from the hospital, not much from the uh, specialist. The reason why I put this first contact practice after my experience of 20 years. Still, we need to evolve, and also we still, as a physiotherapist, still we have a identity crisis. The identity crisis comes to the the lack of knowledge. What I'm going to cover today is about first contact, the identity crisis, and future of health. In the first, I would like to share my video about for ten minutes straight away. From the my client, uh, pain, unease. So you can listen to uh, the video. I'm blessed with two wonderful kids. Uh, yeah, off late uh, from about three to four years, I've been having a number of problem. problems because of my health issues. Huh? Uh, health issues in the sense, you know, uh, having a lot of. Uh, Pain, uneasiness, cannot describe how bad. Yeah. Uh, hello, and this is Safiha Ali. Uh, I'm 37 years old. Uh, I'm blessed with two wonderful kids. Uh, in, uh, off late, uh, from about three to four years, I've been having umpteen number of problems because of my health issues. Uh, health issues in the sense, you know, uh, having a lot of uh, pain, uneasiness cannot describe how bad my nights have been throughout the day working getting into a kitchen being a homemaker taking care of my family living in a joint family system having many people to take care but still i was feeling left alone uh, visited umpteen number of uh, medical doctors uh, facilitators uh, in fact uh, went to even cardiologist uh, thinking about how to get better 
I have uh, cervical spondylosis since about four five years. I uh, have been having a I have a C4 and C5 as well. Uh, this has actually brought about a lot of emotional and adjustmental issues with me. Uh, within myself, I'm just trying to fight back uh, with my family, trying to provide them uh, the best. But however hard I'm able to push myself, I'm not able to do so because of the severe hand pain I had. So much of uneasiness till my uh, end of the fingers I had that numbness, pain, that uh, pulling pain, burning sensation in my palm. Cannot tell you so many problems. I even uh, added on a lot of weight because of this because I wasn't able to go for a walk because of L4, L5 problem and C4, whatnot. Uh, this actually pulled my uh, morale down. Cannot uh, think about exercising. Anything used to scare me. And I abruptly added on a lot of weight uh, since uh, this problem, you know. I just want to come and uh, have a visit with her. And then I came. She just did some uh, named uh, Sureka. Uh, she had actually had more uh, severe problems than me. She had visited uh, Dr. Acharya Ananda Jyoti, and uh, she, after she got better, I saw her health was deteriorating. And then when she got better, I was instigating her. How how come you are so better? You can please tell me also. I'm I'm also going through so much of problems and all because of this hand pain. Then uh, she referred me to Dr. Acharya. I came here. Uh, on my first visit, I was literally like you know I didn't know. Uh, what it was, just on a referral base, I came here uh, because her experience she shared, I, for everybody, it's totally their own problem and, you know, their own pain. So I was a little uh, taken aback when my family told, you know, uh, we don't know if the pain aggravates, uh, whether, uh, we don't, uh, how, how, how things will happen, whether it will be positive or negative, studying about all these things, never known about uh, Dr. Uh, Acharya uh, Ananda Jyoti sir. Then uh, through the strong recommendation, I just came in. I just want to come and uh, have a visit with sir. And then I came. He just did some uh, uh, breathing exercises. He showed me about uh, you know how our uh, uh, skeletal system is all about. And then uh, he even uh, did uh, some uh, physical exercise for me on my shoulders, which actually. Uh, to be very frank, uh, helped me, probably at that time I was feeling what is all this, it's so different, because I have visited so many orthopedics and all, I've never seen this, uh, all of a sudden very different and variant uh, um, uh, exercise and all, then I said okay fine, we'll continue, we'll see how it works, uh, then evening I went, after going back home, I just visited my family, uh, my husband is a professional, uh, he's a doctor, uh, as in, and uh, I just discussed with him. He said, "Let us see what happens. Uh, you wanted to go there because your friend recommended. Let us see how it works for you." Then that was the first night after about three four years, always struggling to sleep in the night with you know trying to have these pulling, uh, ir uh, irritating pains through my hands, or through my fingers. I was feeling comfortable that night. Uh, I was able to sleep on my right side of my hand, uh, placing it under myself uh, because I used to think I have some kind of an, uh, you know, a, a fear of sleeping on my right hand because uh, I didn't want to hurt it or make it more worse. That was the night after so many years, almost three, four years, I slept. I was comfortable. Uh, I am now uh, like 40% I feel that, you know, I have recovered. So... This is uh, a very big difference for me, feeling a lot confident uh, and uh, uh, being very positive at home. Uh, I, after going home, probably the next day, I even took up the rolling pin after months together. I said, my mother-in-law, I'll do it myself. Let me uh, roll on the, the parties and all. So I did. It was, it was really relaxing. Otherwise, the, there'll be like very, very severe pain if I do 
taking uh, role the role across with the party and all now i felt after so many uh, years i felt very comfortable some other in law is also relaxed now but she was also like uh, feeling uh, no no don't do first day we don't know how it was but it was like a wonder i didn't have any pain uh, my full arm is feeling comfortable now and not having any kind of irritation or any problem next video uh, let me see how it was thank you thanks for that this video actually the video which i shown now one of my clients in the morning She was with a pain for almost uh, four years, sleepless night, and been to uh, the best in the country, orthopedics, neurology, and uh, other specialists. And uh, as a first contact practitioner, we are dealing with the the pain. As a physiotherapist, we we are dealing with the pain, which is uh, a broad spectrum. as a first contact practitioner we are not restricting to the musculoskeletal system we should be good at the circulatory system the nervous system the respiratory system the digestive system skeletal and muscular anatomically we all know it is interconnected and uh, into the practice we should gain the basic fundamental knowledge of all this uh, the anatomy knowledge and the clinical practice which is for the safety of the practice and as a physiotherapist we all deal with the pain in the whole body from the spine the shoulder the the whole joint and here i'm sharing the just the, the layers of the the body especially one part of the body that is just on the temporal area so you can see the area here you have the skin and you have the subcutaneous tissue and you have the temporal artery and vein and you have the the there's the a temporal temporalis muscle fascia and you have the deep temporal artery and you have the pericranium that is the bone and the end of the the structure is a bone so whenever the patient come with a pain either the headache or the back pain or neck pain what is the demand from the the patient which is a challenging from the professional is the diagnosis the older model of physiotherapy practice is just the pain model where we treat the patient with the pain modalities like traction or the hot and cold or now we have a advanced method also we have a laser shock therapy the clinical challenges which structure to treat because it affect any structure which i mentioned in the screen it apply for the whole body suppose patient with the back pain the arising the pain may be from the abdomen or the groin or even the chair or even the recently i have seen a patient he had a knee pain and recently the robbery happened at home the pain aggravated half of the robbery nothing related with the pain as well as the uh, the chronicity so now as a physiotherapist uh, in so treating the patient uh, anatomically we can treat the patient uh, more psychologically also we should understand the factor which structure is affected across the layer of the body not just the pain by latest the standard physical examination and standard physical as a physiotherapist we use stretching strengthening postural training education the high demand in the physiotherapy field is the diagnosis now patients started coming to us directly what i suggest to the younger physiotherapist or practicing physiotherapist is to expand your knowledge in clinical skills not only just only the exercise 
the evaluation skill of all the structure. If a patient with a pain here, this may radiate pain in the top of the head or around the jaw area and various part of the, the neck or the facial pain. As I mentioned, the identity crisis, I bring to this point, I want to the listener or those who are attending the program, this is a big issue in the developing country, who we are as a profession. Physiotherapist is a global profession. It is not confined to a particular group of people or it is not confined to the particular geographical area. It is a global profession. Globally, physiotherapists are highly recognized. In India, from the first year of the college, physiotherapy, the final year, even after doing PhD, we have the identity crisis. We should define ourselves to the public as a physical therapist. As we people do in the advanced nation, that will bring a lot of identity to the proper knowledge, proper skill, and proper outcome of the patient. As I mentioned in the identity, exploring ourselves as a physiotherapist, we should look into ourselves. We start slowly when you are in the first year, why you join physiotherapy and what is the scope of physiotherapy? Instead of looking outside, I suggest I build up the career of last 22 years after my postgraduate from Australia. I never looked outside. In spite of my professional lag in the beginning, I started working almost 30 universities, imparting the knowledge of manual therapy skills, the maintenance skills, and clinical reasoning skills. So all that energy, all the knowledge should within lies within ourselves by studying our regular books, by taking the help from the our professors, our clinical practitioner, clinical teacher. So to grow your practice to the first contact level, look at yourself. Don't look at anything outside. Everything with the yourself. Start using your library. Start using the clinical practice. If you see uh, at least three or four patients successfully in your beginning of your career, you can really build up your empire. What I've seen people is, we give less importance to the patient in clinical in India. If you start giving importance to each and every patient, you become a specialist. You choose the area as a physical therapist. You choose the area. You want to be a knee specialist. You want to be an ankle specialist or you want to be a hip specialist or spine specialist or you want to be a like a vertigo specialist. The scope is very high. The, the decision is by the professional. Identify yourself as a one core area of speciality practice. Definitely, the societal need in India is very, very high. The scope is very high. Now, the physiotherapy practice in the country is uh, blooming. In, when I started my career in 1999 or 2000, the physiotherapy clinic in even uh, in the cities is very less. Now, even in the village side, physiotherapy awareness is very high. The need of the R is the physical diagnosis, that is the future. Because in my practice, people come with a five to six MRI scan and a six to seven previous referral. If you are good at your practice, if you are good at your the basic fundamental, that is the anatomy, the physiology of the body, and the clinically how to apply that, people know anatomy, people know physiology. They should integrate the knowledge, what we learn in our college, as well as what we learn from each and every patient. Because we all seek for the evidence, because the Cochrane Library is supporting us and research is supporting us. But what we need is the real fact is the patient. That's the reason in my beginning of my career, beginning of my presentation, I have given my patient a direct talk. I may give one more patient talk, that is video, where uh, how the societal suffering, it is not just the pain, 
strain affect the, the whole personality, their family, their life, and their career. The patient coming to us with a disability for three years, five years, ten years, you imagine yourself or empathize yourself if you have a pain for three years or a ten years. I have seen people pain for 20 years also I am seeing in my daily practice where the patient is highly crippled or highly depressed with their pain. So what is the need of the RS? We should have a, a clear physical diagnosis. In that, we have various methods in physiotherapy. We have a Maitland method, we have McKinsey method, we have a, so many methods in physiotherapy. There is no, we have wide knowledge we have. The challenge is how you fit into a specific treatment method. In my practice, I understood even if you explain the patient about the problem, let's say like a Bell's palsy or even a simple neck pain, a postural defect, if you more you educate, the outcome is very high. If you spend less, l more time in treatment, like uh, like uh, giving exercise or stretching or uh, hot and cold, the outcome is very less or very poor, I can tell you. In that practice, if you educate the client with a specific treatment method, instead of giving 10 exercises, if you understand the, the problem in a crisp way, in a very clear way, one X is enough or two X is enough, and dosage also very minimal, that will give a lot of changes with the client. As I've shown in the video, she was suffering for almost three years, but within a day, just by changing her posture, understanding her problem first, changing her posture, changing her sleeping position, she's 40% better. That is the level of understanding we need. What I'm trying to emphasize, be specific in your diagnosis. Like a mechanical diagnosis, we have various methods. Whatever the technique you follow, it is up to you. It's based on what you gain knowledge from various aspects. From the various speaker and various university. The specific treatment that was mentioned should be very key to the individual patient. As I mentioned in the beginning, I have seen more than two lakh patients so far. My CV is with update. Every client is totally different. Each and every client, you see a knee patient or you see a neck patient or back pain, everyone is totally different from one person to other person. By understanding the body, by understanding the mind, by understanding the emotion of the clients, if we handle them, definitely the outcome is good. And uh, I recommend people to use a holistic approach, not just one single approach. That works better than a single approach. And it is universally accepted. And But India, I'm practicing Maitland and McKinsey and various concepts for the last 20 years. I incorporate yogic method. I incorporate naturopathy method. I incorporate the energy healing method. If you bring into holistic, the outcome is much better. If you go with a narrow minded of practice, the outcome is maybe moderate or lesser than that. So I left the uh, the uh, the audience because I in a crisp I mentioned there's a high scope in physiotherapy in India and also billions of people expecting us the pressure as well as accountability to individual physiotherapists either we need to prove it or we may lose our profession. Guandrila Jen, my professor, Mark Jones, my professor, he always tell. Whether you prove it to individual patient or lose it. I believe in that. So keep upgrading yourself. Keep gain knowledge as well as put your heart and soul to see individual patient. And I emphasize people of clinical oriented education. Whatever the education, either the professor who is attending in this or lecturer, what are the education in this? physiotherapy subject, 
education should be based on clinical practice the book knowledge in future may not work out I'll show you one more video of my son. I want a jump of computer. This is uh, my client who met today morning, and I'm treating him for almost eight years. He can share his, he can listen to him. In my graduation, I'm a mechanical engineer, and I'm 21. And uh, I have been dealing with my spinal problem ever since my teenage, my early teenagers. Uh, since my ninth grade, I had, I had, I was diagnosed with scoliosis, and uh, I was under constant treatment and rehabilitation facilities throughout those periods. Uh, I, I used to do my physical exercises as well as my hydrotherapy exercises on a regular basis so that my daily activities or my school activities were not disturbed as in like uh, it shouldn't that it wasn't the major cause. And my life was going on in a good mode and all of a sudden when I was in growing up stage when I used uh, when I was entering into my teenagers, it was quite hard for any person. And when health is, the health reasons has been interrupted in your personal life or in your future career, come across uh, after getting into this treatment, I've come across various other students and people who have been dealing up with this without in their subconscious methods. Uh, you be it it's their uh, physical postures or their way of life or their. Uh, daily routine which could affect their physical health which which was not predominant in the initial stages but when it was in prolonged state it might end up in uh, it might end up in something quite traumatic as well and uh, i was initially diagnosed at the earlier stages and with this constant physiotherapy exercises and my uh, hydrotherapy one I was able to pursue further my goals. I was able to complete my school with the higher grades and I was able to join the course of my university of my preference. And there was no hindrance as in uh, physically, where uh, you need to, uh, we need to have the, the patients is the key. We need to have the patients to force ourselves into the way of life. Uh, for example, I was always in a mood where I had an optimistic thought I would be all right and this shouldn't be a reason for me to stop what I achieve. So with those constant thinking in my mind, I pursued further my goals and uh, yeah, I was, I was about uh, 16 or 17 again where I had uh, another collapsing time where uh, I was not able to walk further and I had my imbalances and imbalancing movements. I was my, I was corrected with my gait and my walking style where Initially, with the breathing uh, exercises which has been taught here could increase in my stability and my way of approaching people. And this was a new awakening moment in my life where uh, most of the things which have been conveyed to others were in a wrong dimension because of, uh, normal exercises could not, it could just satisfy the benign pain, but when it is a long time goal, uh, you need to have a constant and happier lifestyle changes which has to be done for your own health but health is the first priority um yes I'm, i was able to cross those hindrances with success and i was about a, like a normal person and as we don't know what would be the reason which arises within ourselves which might lead us to uh, any physical health problems or whatever way we put it in um Recently, I, I was diagnosed with L4, L5 disc bulge, where I, I used to be a cyclist and I used to be a constant swimmer. So maybe the lifestyle changes or hitting the gym at regular intervals or under unsupervised conditions might be worsening at some moment, I would say. And yeah, I was diagnosed with L3, L4 uh, scoliosis disc bulge and I was under treatment. 
And then that under uh, emergency circumstances, I was uh, operated with my spine. So that was uh, one which has been prolonged since seven years because initially I was uh, supposed to have undergone such a surgery where I was, uh, my spine should have, I was said that my spine should have been replaced with some built in uh, rods or something, which could, uh, at that point of time, was quite critical. And as in, I was in my growing state, uh, this was the best solution for to postpone it uh, initially. But whereas when it was, when I'm about 21 or so, uh, I was I was re diagnosed with it and I underwent a surgery. And after the surgery, the only thing is the rehabilitation and the exercises which we personally further. And I don't find pain much because when the surgery uh, occurs, it is only the pain relieving movement that all the muscles and uh, bones become rigid and stuff. So we need to loosen it sometimes and we need to provide the right exercises and the right supervision so that it doesn't occur further in our lives. So this battling of me of mine was, was in a prolonged state initially where I used to have pain on and off in my life where I had morning sickness. I was quite embarrassed walking around or uh, when I had muscular or postural imbalances, but when the right exercise being was diagnosed to me periodically so that uh, there wasn't much of any further. And I don't find pain much because when the surgery uh, occurs, it is only the pain relieving movement that all the muscles and uh, bones become rigid and stuff. So we need to loosen it sometimes and we need to provide the right exercises and the right supervision so that it doesn't occur further in our lives. So this battling of me, of mine was, was in a prolonged state initially where I used to have pain on and off in my life where I had morning sickness. I was quite embarrassed walking around uh, when I had muscular or postural imbalances. But when the right exercise being was diagnosed to me periodically so that uh, there wasn't much of any confusion or there wasn't in a disturbed state where people couldn't find me awkward or I had the self-confidence saying that, yeah, I'm, I'm under treatment and I'm under rehabilitation. So it was a pride moment for me where I, I was awakening. It was an awakening thing that I was aware of what is going in within my body and within my mind so that I could pursue my dreams and there wasn't much of any hindrance. And now after the post, surgical treatments, I'm under rehabilitation and I'm good, doing it very good actually. And uh, I'm in a state where I was, uh, I have few restrictions right now, but it is more of the effort and the knowledge we have given ourselves and to the right for people we are getting exposed to. So the later the advance, uh, advances in the medicals and as well as in physio uh, department streams where we can get into more uh, awakening moment and get to know what is wrong within our body and change our lifestyle according to So what I recommend people is to have a yeah, proper identity with the, our public, with a proper physical diagnosis, specific treatment method, because the time is uh, very crucial for every clients, what we meet, whom we meet. So for that, definitely we need a, a strong understanding of the, the subject, what you're studying, and we need an expert guidance and also you incorporate the holistic method, definitely you will be a very successful practitioner. So if you all have any question or anything, you can 